can show you the world Shining, shimmering, splendid Tell me, princess, now when did you last let your heart decide? Don't you dare close your eyes, bitch! What's up, my babies, my beautiful party people? Welcome back to Dear De La Ghetto, the only advice show that keeps it real and keeps it real sexy, too. Look at that, check that, look. Let me move my, let me move my pecs up and down a little bit. See that? I can do it a little bit. Question number one. Dear De La Ghetto, my boyfriend and I have been going out for about a year and things are good. There's just this one problem that comes up occasionally that bothers me a lot. Sometimes when we go out, out of nowhere he tells me, look at that girl, she has a big ass. Or, look, she is really pretty. I mean, I'm not a jealous girl, and I get it when you guys admire celebrities, but personally, I think there should be a limit when he points out a girl right in front of my face. I really don't know if I really don't know if I should keep dating him because he really makes me feel bad when he does that. What should I do? Or what do you think about that? Sincerely, Eliza. Okay, Eliza, check it out. Have you ever taken a second to actually communicate to your boyfriend and tell him that you have a problem with this or that this makes you uncomfortable or that this hurts your feelings even? Have you? Have you? Ladies, a lot of times all you gotta do is tell a dude what you're thinking about. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all wanna do this whole, oh, uh, mm, and the guy's like, what? What's wrong? And you're like, mm, mm, uh, you should know. You should know what you did. You should know. Uh, uh If you have to ask, then I don't even wanna tell you. Blah, blah, blah. That's the stupidest shit, like, ever. If we're asking you what's wrong, it's because we don't know what's wrong. So all you gotta do is be like, hey, you know what? It just kind of bothered me when you checked that girl out right in front of my face or when you commented on her butt like right in front of me. Like, that's not cool. You've been with this dude for a year and a half. Obviously, he cares about you. Obviously, he's a good dude. He doesn't want to hurt you. So if you tell him, hey, you know what? Um, I don't really like that you do that. I'm pretty sure he won't do that in front of you anymore. Now obviously we all find other people attractive, guys are gonna find other girls attractive, girls are gonna find other guys attractive, it's whatever, it's human nature, you know what I'm saying? And if you talk to him about it and he still wants to keep on doing that and commenting on other girls in front of you, then you know, fripped frip a script on him. Got a little Asian right there, fripped a script on him, turn the tables on him, and you know when you guys are out just be like, oh, that guy has a nice dick. Oh, I like his dick. Oh, you look at that guy's dick. Or be like, oh my god, that guy's testicles look really nice today. I really like the way that guy's testicles look in those beige pants. Oh, look at his dick. Just keep talking about dicks. <laughs> but before I get to that point, just talk to him and I promise you it'll get better. Dear De La Ghetto, what's up bro? Last month my girlfriend broke up with me because she said I was too nice and did too many nice things for her. This really messed me up because I pride myself on being a nice guy and I didn't realize that it was gonna be a problem. I still have lots of feelings for her but the only thing is that was the second time we had been dating so even though I wanted to tell her how I feel, I still don't think going out for her the third time in like two years is a great idea but I still really like her. I need some major help. Much love and thank you, Trip. Well, Trip, let me tell you, bro, you are tripping. No matter how many times a girl says she just wants a guy to be sweet and caring and a gentleman, I just want a guy I can take home to mom, they're full of shit. Part of the fun for girls, especially in the beginning of a relationship, is is the game of it. You know what I'm saying? Does he like me? If he want, is gonna call? Like, that shit's all fun, exciting, you know? If she knows that you're gonna be calling her every day, trying to buy her flowers every day, like, not only does it, like, kind of make girls feel suffocated, but it also, it takes away from the specialness, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you were to buy a girl flowers every day, it would be like, okay, wow, that's really sweet, okay, flowers again, you know? But if you buy flowers every once in a while, it's like, oh my god, you got me flowers? How sweet! Like, think about it, bro, if you were eating cookies and candy and cake every day for every meal, like, you know, you gonna get some cavities, you know? You like that? It's a metaphor. I had to learn that the hard way, you know? When I was fresh out of high school, I was dating this girl that I liked a lot. You know, and, and she just completely thought I was way too nice to the point where she was a bitch to me. Like, she would say mean things to me, and I just wouldn't say anything back. And I'm just like, ha ha, oh yeah, yeah, ha ha. And I would take it all, and that was a turn off to her. The fact that I wouldn't stand up for myself, the fact that I wouldn't talk shit back to her. Like, girls like a man to be a man sometimes, and not just their little lap dog. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you should find somebody who can appreciate how sweet of a guy you are. But even when you find her, chill out. Sorry guys, I did, but the sun was setting, so I have to kind of change accordingly to the for the light because it's, it's dark in this. Ooh, it looks. Ooh, this is nice. I should have did it from here the whole time. Oh well. 
Okay, so this next question, I wasn't sure if I was gonna answer it because I've answered it in a lot of different ways and a lot of different videos, but I realized it's a lot of new kids coming to my channel and a lot of y'all, you know, just, just have the same questions and you may have missed the video here and there. So this kid, Dear De La Ghetto, how do I approach a girl that I don't know? Like, what do I say? Carrie Slay. Okay, Carrie, let me talk to you, bro. Let me talk to you, okay? I used to love trying to get phone numbers. That used to be my shit. One of my favorite things to do, I thought it was fun, I thought it was a fun game. Trying to come up with different things to say to a girl, trying to think, come up with different jokes and just ways to get her attention and like, you know, maybe get her interested in hanging out with me. If she said no, then it wasn't a big deal. That's what you have to remember, man. If you get rejected, it's not a big deal. The hurt you get from getting rejected lasts about two or three seconds, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, ah, oh, damn, ah, oh, that sucks, aha! Man, she didn't want my number, or fuck you damn bitch, you ain't in cute. But that feeling of, damn, what if that girl was my future wife? Or, man, what if, what if that girl was the one for me and I was too much of a bitch to go up to her? Like, what if that was my, like, the one I was gonna live the rest of my life with and I missed out because I was a little pussy punk bitch and I didn't say nothing? That feeling right there lasts forever. And honestly, man, your best bet, and I know it feels awkward, is just to, you know, be confident, Take a deep breath, smile, walk up to her, get some eye contact, and say hi. And she'll say, hello. You say, hi, my name's Tim, or in your case, my name is Carrie Slay. You say, hey, my name's Carrie Slay. Um, I think you're really pretty. Um, do you want to get some ice cream? Nobody is gonna turn down ice cream. Everybody loves ice cream, okay? And on the rare occasion where she wants to be difficult and she's like, you know what, actually I'm lactose intolerant, then you can just be like, okay, well then, uh, let's go get a popsicle or something. I just think, you know, we would have fun together. And then she'll, who's gonna turn that down? That's so sweet. In your case, you kinda have an advantage because you have a really weird name. So that's an automatic icebreaker. You know what I'm saying? So you can walk up and be like, hi, how you doing? My name's Carrie Slay, nice to meet you. And she'll be like, what was your name? I'm like, Carrie Slay. Oh, it's Lithuanian or whatever you are. And she's like, oh, wow, that's really unique. And then you'll say, what's your name? And she'll say, um, Tina. And then you're like, oh, Tina, now that's unique. And she's like, oh my God, no, it's not. That's every girl's name, Tina. You're like, well, I really like your name. I think it's pretty. And she's like, thanks. And then, oh my God, she's basically sucking your dick already. Okay, lastly, I got a lot of Dear Dale Ghettos about Tim. What should I do uh, about prom? How do I ask someone to prom? What should I do to ask someone to prom? I don't know how y'all kids do it. When I was in high school, this is how I asked my prom date, all right? Hey, um, you wanna go to prom with me? And she's like, really? I was like, yeah. She's like, okay. I was like, sweet. I see videos of y'all now on YouTube, I don't know, doing giant choreographed dance routines. Um, you know, like, I don't know, a hundred bed of roses flying in on a magic carpet and shit. I don't, that, that's not me. I would just say, I just asked, you know. Good luck to you though. Go to prom. Go to prom. You only get one prom. You know, it's, it's high school. It's over. It's about to be over. Like, you, it's, even if you hate everybody there, go to prom. You know what I'm saying? Like, you'll never get to live this experience again. Just do it. And last but not least, got some merch for you guys. Love, peace, skeet, and cheese tank tops. Just in time for the warm weather of spring and spring break. Girls, you can wear these and you can enter wet t-shirt contests and you won't even see your nipples that much because it's covered up by the heart and the peace sign. Um, I also got the De La Ghetto homie design is back on a t-shirt. You can wear me and, you know, support me. And ladies, you can have my little face in between your titties. Um, and, um, and Goody came out with this uh, shirt right here. It's for the boys and the girls, a little tank top. You know what I'm saying? For the summertime, springtime colors. And uh, yeah, all right, though, up, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. See you guys at South by Southwest. I'll be there this weekend, just kind of chilling, walking around, enjoying the scene. Uh, love, peace, skate, and cheese. I love you, and I'm not wearing any pants. The royal penis is clean, your highness. Thank you, king shit.